Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Abraham Oluwatosi Adeyemi. In this video, I want to show you what the Bible teaches on how you can have the forgiveness of sin now, not tomorrow. Now you can have the forgiveness of sin. Maybe you have been hearing that, you know, in order for you to be forgiven, you have to confess your sins to the priest. and to the pastors and you know to the elders in the church to the bishop whatever the name of the leaders in your church whatever you call them maybe you have been taught that that is how you can have your sins forgiven now when we look at the scripture the scripture uh, teaches us how we can have our sins forgiven now throughout the bible we see that there is only one person uh, that is responsible to forgiving sins of men, and that is God. So, who can forgive sin? Only God can forgive sin. And how can we have our sins forgiven? Do we have to, you know, every time we sin, do we have to continue to confess our sins? Oh, no, no I sin today, I confess my sin, God forgives me. I sin tomorrow, I confess my sin, God forgives me. How can an unbeliever have the forgiveness of sin now we want to look at the scripture to let the bible speak we believe that the bible is the final authority so the first verse i i want to share with you is in the book of Acts chapter 10 in the book of Acts chapter 10 the bible tells us how we can have the forgiveness of sin Acts chapter 10 verse 43 now we see what the bible says here i read the bible says to him Give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. So, the Bible tells us that you know, whosoever believeth shall have the remission of sin. Another word for the remission of sin is the forgiveness of sin. So, the key word is believe. Now, the Bible teaches us that when you believe in Jesus Christ, you have the forgiveness of sin. I guess that is contrary to what you have been taught or your priest has taught you or your, you know, uh, the bishop, they've taught you that you have to, you know, confess your sins to them, you know, and they will declare you forgiven. Now, I can declare you forgiven if you trusted Jesus Christ. I can say that you have been forgiven. Now, I have to confess your sin at all for you to be saved. All what you have to do is to believe that jesus died for your sin he was buried and on the third day he rose again so let's look at another verse in the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 39 and verse 38 and 39 the bible says here be it known unto you therefore men and brethren that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins so how can we receive the forgiveness of sin it is through jesus christ and the bible says and by him, all that believe are justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. So, we receive the forgiveness of sin in verse 38. And we receive justification from all things. And we cannot be justified by the law of Moses. Now, as I close with this, if you want to have your sins forgiven, listen, there is only one person that can forgive sin. And that is God. And God sent his son Jesus Christ into the world. The Bible says, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. So Jesus Christ came. He died for you. So that you can have your sins forgiven now. You can have your sins forgiven now. Without going through the priest. Without going through the pastor. Without going through anyone. When you believe in Jesus Christ, your past, present, and the future sin has been forgiven. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 4, verse, Even as David described the blessedness of the man unto whom the Lord imputed righteousness without works, saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin in the future. Uh, Romans chapter uh, 4 from verses 6 to 7. So that is what the Bible teaches. If you want to have your sins forgiven, only through Jesus Christ you can have your sins forgiven. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube, my YouTube channel. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.